Uh, got a lot of questions over the weekend. Haven't had a chance, my friends, to really look at them, so forgive me. I'll probably try to get take care of that tomorrow or the next day for you. Um, and good morning to you. And I hope you have a beautiful day out there. Uh, Florida's been cloudy here and pretty rainy. I'm going to first uh, address a, a, a lady that sent me quite a, a, an intellectual dissertation on the, how the body works in biochemistry. And she seems to look up to the Carrie Reams and uh, Ravicki and these type of people. Um, and then I'll get to some of your other questions. But I think this was really important because she went on and on and on about the ideas of Reams and some other biochemists in relationship to how the body works chemically in terms of cations and anions and how the uh, you know the adrenals control the kidneys and how the the kidneys withdraw uh, uh, sodium to uh, release potassium and all these kind of things like this some of this uh, and uh, I do respect sweetheart thank you for sending me this uh, I'll just call you Cindy uh, and I appreciate this um, you have made reference that these are great healers I'll have to tell you, no offense, but Carrie Reams wasn't a great healer. And uh, Vinci and some of these other people, these are biochemists. Okay, guys, very familiar with Carrie Reams. Did Carrie Reams for the first couple of years uh, uh, combined with blood and uh, hair. Reams' is urine and saliva um, analysis and things. Uh, this intellectual jargon here gets you nowhere. To be honest with you, um, we all disagree in chemistry and how the body works. Some of the things that come in it here, like calcium, is pulled out of uh, a matrix in an alkaline solution. This isn't true. Uh, it's quite the opposite. Uh, and there's just so so many variables that that these biochemists, and I'm a biochemist, don't understand. The variables like the oxygen exchanging from the lungs, you have to consider the congestion, the mucus in the body. You have to consider the genetic weaknesses of the adrenal glands and the ability to produce aldosterone or any of the cortical type steroids in the, in the control of mineral utilizations. Um, the same thing with the parathyroid and, and calcium utilizations. Uh, there was, she had made a comment that she sees a lot of alkalosis, which is too alkaline in people. Uh, that's rare as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that's, that's not the case. She, uh, talking about how bicarbonate uh, loads up interstitially around the cells as opposed to acids, that is extremely rare. If anything, bicarbonate is something most people have a problem with. Uh, acidosis is by far the biggest issue that people face. Uh, one of the comments here you made was that I see a lot of people on raw foods basically more alkalosis, being too alkaline. Uh, you know, you, it, when you go intellectually like this, uh, you lose yourself and you'll never be able to heal anybody or cure things like cancers or, or regenerate tissue like spinal cord injuries or complete, uh, you know, like spinal bifida where there's no uh, uh, spine tissue and then suddenly you can grow new spine tissue. You can't do this with this intellectual jargon because half of it's not even true. Um, I was going to give you a chemist's name. I think he's passed now. Well revered, way on the top of chemistry worldwide. Um, he wrote a, an incredible book for those that really want to get into how chemistry and detoxification, how all this really works from a much higher viewpoint, a much more intellectual chemist. But I don't get into that. If you're interested in reading Kerry Reams's criminal uh, case uh, by the state of Florida, it's interesting read. But um, to be honest with you, I left this years ago, sweetheart, because uh, you, you're, you're rambling on intellectually here and it means nothing. Uh, truly, uh, when you detoxify and you go on raw and you're not filtering through the kidneys uh, via adrenal gland suppression, whether it's genetic weaknesses or whatever, you're going to see an alkalization, a rehydration process. So you definitely could see an alkaline urine. We, we see this all the time. And you can definitely tell this. Very difficult to judge through the urine and the saliva, even the blood and even the hair, what's going on interstitially. The iris work, iridology, is a far better look uh, systemically in the body to determine what's going on there at the cellular level. 
the blood types and all this crap's out there. You all can follow that if you want. But it's interesting how I seem to get all these people in here that's been following these programs for years, and they still have major, major problems, particularly lots of cancer. And that's because this is an intellectual jargon. You know, it's time man leaves the mind aside for a while and develops his spirituality. The mind is created creation. And it's a fun place to play because you'll get into this intellectual move of electrons and protons and I'm taking this and I'm giving that and you know the magnetism of everything and you can get caught into that. I did for a couple of years only because I was developing my spiritual side more importantly and what this allowed me to do was pull up and pass this because you'll forever get lost. You know, when we were doing our chemistry section in my book, I, I really wanted to get to the base and acid nature of all the elements. And the chemistry uh, professor at Harvard said, don't you know we all disagree? Uh, and this is the, this is the problem with, with getting into chemistry here. You have to look at, at humans as a species. And yes, we've had lifetimes of cooked food eating. We have lifetimes of dead animal eating, which is not conducive to health in this species. That doesn't mean you have to follow that because your body seems to like that. Your body doesn't seem to like that. It tastes good and people feel better when they have neurotransmitters supplied to them by the meat. Of course, they have weak adrenal glands and they don't produce enough neurotransmitters. So when they quit eating meat, they feel more fatigued. The nervous system shuts down on them, of course. Of course, of course, you're going to go through some real tough uh, withdrawal, some people. But as a species, you never see what you're saying here in any other species. And as far as, as as blood types or any other types, we're a species. And I have never failed in 40 years to regenerate too much. I've never failed if you're willing to take a ride to take you to the top of the mountain where your energy is so intense you can't stand it. Where you, can, where you can start merging with the oneness of all life. Uh, I can take you into some deep levels of tissue regeneration that you'll never get worrying about someone's chemistry. And you'll, you'll, you're, you'll lose your spirituality if you get too intellectual because you can't use the mind and be at the same time. Because as you step back and become more spiritual and you leave that mind behind, You'll see more, you'll know more, you'll start simplifying everything because that's the only way you can survive spiritually if you keep everything simple and realize everything's going on, quit worrying about it. Just start eating the foods at the very least, just start eating the foods your body's designed to eat. And uh, I, I really needed to, uh, to talk to you about this and all of you about this, uh, the biochemical individuality of people. No, the genetic individuality of people, the species as a whole, and what we are physiological as a whole, not individuality. Uh, that is true, we're individuals in consciousness, but as a, as a physical form, we're actually universal. And actually in consciousness, we're universal. Um, you know, you end up uh, in spirituality understanding we're all one, and then uh, you start to drop that and realize it's just all God. So, uh, uh, no offense, sweetheart, but if you'll get rid of this uh, Reams guy and all this stuff, I'm very familiar with Kerry, although I did uh, think that the 60-minute special they did on him, it made uh, it made me think much less of 60 minutes where a bunch of guys peed uh, in a jar and Kerry analyzed it, and of course they... Uh, they, they laughed at that. Well, you're going to find a chemical homeostasis of all chemistry, so I, that was no big deal. That was stupid of 60 minutes, a little joke see. And then they took his, uh, his uh, chemical and mathematical equations to a medical doctor. Well, <laughs> of course, and here was some big old fat medical doctor. Well, there's big old fat nature past too, so not really aiming that at him. But this uh, big old fat uh, medical doctor look at his chemical equations, and they ask him, what does that chemical equation mean to you? Well, of course it didn't mean anything to him. This was Kerry Reams' life work. So, uh, uh, no offense, sweetheart, but if you'll get rid of this uh, Reams guy and all this stuff, I'm very familiar with Kerry, although I did uh, think that the 60-minute special they did on him, it made, 
it made me think much less of 60 Minutes, where a bunch of guys peed uh, in a jar and Carrie analyzed it, and of course they, uh, they they laughed at that. Well, you're going to find a chemical homeostasis of all chemistry, so I, that was no big deal. That was stupid of 60 Minutes, a little joke, see. And then they took his uh, his uh, chemical and mathematical equations to a medical doctor. Well, of course, and here was some big old fat medical doctor. Well, there's big old fat nature past too, so not really aiming that at him. But this uh, big old fat nat uh, medical doctor looked at his chemical equations, and they asked him, what does that chemical equation mean to you? Well, of course it didn't mean anything to him. This was Kerry Ream's life work. And of course, it didn't mean nothing to him. So that, that's a little underhanded. That's, uh, that's where we're at in America. You know, we... Uh, we try to play this uh, magical uh, uh, smokescreen uh, thing. But uh, no offense, uh, uh, Dr. Jensen uh, was hot on Roche and, you know, all these uh, um, uh, chemical thinkers, uh, not me. Uh, and you can if you want. It's okay, sweetheart. I'm not, I'm not cutting you. I'm just saying that if you want to have fun in your life and you want to heal people like never before and you want to take people to the top of the mountain and you have extreme cases like we have, you can't play around with thinking chemistry. doesn't work. Uh, half of these people are wrong and half of the way you look at this, half of this isn't accurate. But, so forgive me, but uh, let that go. And, and join the ranks of the high spiritual. Learn detoxification. Learn the fact of raw. No animal on this planet cooks their food. There's no way on this earth you can say that eating cooked foods and dead animals is superior to raw foods. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't have the experience to say that. And, and looking at that, um, you have to understand there's a process to taking man where we are in terms of generations of cooked food and dead animal eating and beans and all that crap and bringing you into the vitality and the liveliness of raw foods. No question, it, it can be a journey and you can have ups and downs, no question. But uh, let that intellectual side go and you'll be good. Okay, I wanted to touch on, and forgive me for that one, guys, but um, we, we have to let go. This is not an intellectual dissertation. I can give it to you if you want, and we can really go through this and show you, but I, I'm not in the mindset anymore. I let that go. I tore into this like you wouldn't believe. That's the kind of nature I am. And uh, I, I can tell you, when you start getting into chemical uh, transmutations and you start getting into antagonistic chemistries and things, and you have to understand the genetic disposition of cells, their inability to produce different hormones and steroids, uh, also the congestion and the mucus accumulation in the body and, and how that blocks uh, O2 uh, utilization and absorption. If you start getting into this whole complexity uh, of the body, uh, you, you, uh, of, of what where we're at, you'll, you'll see these. Uh, these problems and um, uh, how you can't judge chemistry from that. There, there's just no way. Okay, enough said on that one, guys. Now, yeah, someone asked me about cheese and yogurt, and thanks uh, for that guy that, uh, yeah, you know, any, any of that stuff's crap. You know, if you do a little bit once in a while, I mean, who cares? But if you, uh, cheese and yogurts are, I got into yogurts for a while after I was raw. Then boy, did that hurt. Did I fill up with mucus? I mean, I, I tell you, um, these type of foods uh, uh, might be good at one level, but you all like the top of the mountain, right? You all want to get on the top of the mountain. You all want to experience the Godhead. You all want to have the greatest health possible. Uh, and for those that don't, it's okay. Balance out wherever you want to be. I'm not complaining about that whatsoever. I can't say a thing, you know. Once in a while, I'll have a cookie or something, you know. Just the nature of things. I don't sweat the small stuff anymore, let me tell you. It's much better to put your attention toward the supreme being and how do I experience the totality of life. That's a far greater rush, let me tell you. So, you know, if you get too strict, uh, you'll find your ego gets too big. Mine did, and you know others that have, and it's, um, you know, it's just part of that. If you look too much to the self, and self-discipline is, is a, a great attribute. I love it. I, I was so strict. I mean, I was so strict, I lost all my friends, <laughs> and uh, that was the problem, you know. So, you know, you... Um, you want to walk with balance because you want to love everybody. You don't have to like everybody, but certainly you have to love everything. Remember the Jarland and Rumi who fell in love with everything. Everything he saw was God. Every atom, every blade of grass. Boy, that is a great story. 
on how you open yourself up to the allness of all life and how you have a blissful experience while you're on this rock spinning through space. Uh, I, someone asked me about juicing uh, uh, fruits and stuff. Fruit juice is pretty concentrated. A lot of times that people can't handle real juiced dark grapes and so they cut it with apple juice. Uh, I'll say this, I'm more in juicing uh, vegetables than I am juicing fruit. I think we should eat our fruits and juice our vegetables, particularly because of the heavy uh, cellulose that these vegetables have to offer you and how much work your body goes through digesting them. It depends where you want your energy. Do you want your energy here in your gut digesting your food or do you want it here where you can have more ecstasy and more joy and be in control and more aware. I like that better than having it down in the body doing different things for me. So it's an energetic move here. Uh, you know, this, uh, this uh, intellectual dissertation uh, reminds me of fruitarianism and breatharianism, how that will freak the biochemists out of the, of the world. <laughs> I mean, they're just, um, we just can't go there. Uh, sunscreen and skin cancer, um, you know, your skin, your body needs to be a predominantly alkaline being, 80-20, because of the amount of waste that are produced in the body, you definitely have to, um, you have to be, have this ingestion of 80-20, which is what fruits and vegetables that are grazed and picked properly generally have. Um, you, you have to have that. Not all acids like carbon dioxide is, 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 is broken down into water. Uh, not all acids, uh, uh, acids have to leave the body uh, and have to be constantly uh, removed out of the body. And so you're going to see this, this need of the body to, to move its uh, electrolyte balance or let's say its alkaline electrolyte balance uh, around in that process of doing that. And that's another big issue about the intellectual side of that is that you really have to understand detoxification and the tremendous move of this, this systemic uh, organism to have uh, predominant bicarbonate interstitially is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like that, uh, particularly even taking uh, baking soda to be honest with you um, it's impossible that's the problem that we face you have to understand the nature of the lymphatic fluids the interstitial fluids and realize you're dealing 75 percent lymph which is the mucousy thicker fluid you're not going to see chemistry wax and wane as, as easy as you think here but the as you, your skin, remember, is your kidney, and you have to remember that also. There was some reference here about lung extraction of CO2, which is carbon dioxide and kidneys, but you got to remember the gigantic skin. Your skin is as much of the eliminator as your kidneys almost, so in your lungs. So very important to understand you, you have a lot of elimination ports here. You know, get your body alkaline. As you get your uh, body alkaline and you are able to have more bicarbonate, you are able to have more of a, a, a movement to the interstitial fluids, the lymphatic fluids in particular, you're going to see the body love the sun. Remember our skin pigmentation has changed because we've lived in northern climates. Uh, you notice that darker skinned people have more of the tropical or heat climates. I prefer that type of skin because it, it, takes, uh, it takes the heat and the sun better because we're a tropical species. So there's, there's a movement that your body has to get used to, but you've got to have full spectrum lighting. You cannot uh, get away from sun. If you look at your unhealthiest people, uh, they never get sun. They just never get sun, and you particularly all your arthritis and all this, you got to have the sun. Uh, you can get this, rid of the skin cancer. You go inside and clean your lymph system, remember. You also have topical uh, salves that we can pull skin cancer right off of, your basal cell, easy stuff. But you want to clean up that skin, and you'll have not worry about the sun anymore. I'm real scared about uh, suntan lotions and, and things, sunscreen. Get natural stuff if you can. Um, very important because what you put on your skin is your chemistry you're bringing in. and things, sunscreen, get natural stuff if you can, um, very important because what you put on your skin is your chemistry you're bringing in and you have to understand all that and all chemistry in terms of your ingestion. Hay fever of course, that's the lymph system, again, 
you got to clean your limp system. Here was one question from the weekend about uh, someone with migraine headaches. Detoxify that body. Get that lymph moving out of there. That'll turn on the, uh, whether it's a sinus or whether it's a stomach, you'll clean up the stomach. Uh, your GI tract can cause you migraines. Your, your pressure in your head, your sinuses can cause you uh, headaches. I have not had a chance, sorry guys, to go through this like I would like, but... Uh, uh, there was a reference to a blood analysis here. There's a lot of dark screen stuff out there, and it's okay, you know, but that'll clear up real nicely. I, I think your focus really should be the lymphatic system. Uh, really, your blood is a direct result of that because you have to change your diet to clean your lymph system up. And, of course, cleaning the lymph system cleans the spleen, which cleans the blood even better, cleans up your liver, cleans your kidneys. So, really, to clean up your blood, I'd really get to, if you get into this level of thinking, it might be more simplistic than you would like, but it will make you happier and you'll be able to, uh, to cure more people and more things. Um, let me see what else I can uh, look through here. Oh, someone said something about almond milk and stuff. Those things are okay. I don't know what you'd use them for, but those are things that are okay if you're not detoxifying. If you're detoxifying fruits and berries, melons, and, and then uh, uh, raw veggies, and then get rid of the raw veggies. This is detoxification we're talking about. In the general well-being of the body, um, you know, you can have a little nuts here. I prefer the uh, pine nuts or pignolia nuts. Those are really good. The coconut, what a superior nut. For the homo sapien, remember. As the farther north you go, of course, you're going to get heavier mineralized soil. Your proteins are going to be higher, harder on the human body actually to, to live in these areas so you always want to keep nut consumption down to a minimum you ever wonder why God put a hard shell on a nut yeah so we wouldn't eat too many of them right <laughs> I've always said if you had to open up a walnut you would only do one and you'd probably never do another one those things are nasty they grew where I all the time where I when I, where I was raised in Indiana and boy I got into opening them up one time that was no fun I was not happy from that uh, so really love you guys thanks for watching the video this one's a little tough on the intellectual side but I see a lot of this and you will be so much happier if you release this and go more simplistic and believe me you, you, you can't die from it your body's going to turn itself around in magical ways and I, I was going to say if you guys see Dan the man uh, you know, Dan, you need to uh, call the uh, company here and get that superfood blend of ours. Uh, when you're uh, on a bike trip like that, uh, sprouts and stuff like that, okay. But uh, you power up with that God's blend I put together, and uh, you can't stand yourself. That'll really empower your the body there, and uh, you'll really... Um, uh, take off with that. So power up with that. The more you clean your lymph system, you're removing things that are create resistance in the body. And the more that you lose resistance, it's even like an electrical currents. And the more you lose that resistance and acidosis, everything starts moving. Then the endurance goes way up there, and the retention of of a hydrated medium goes way up there. So, love to you all. I'll make a new video here on all your questions through the weekend. I do appreciate your questions. It allows me to expand on these, these thoughts and things. I don't mean to upset anyone, Cindy, yourself too, particularly, but I'll tell you, sweetheart, if you let all that reams crap go, I'll introduce you to a much higher level of thinking. I know you put a lot of time and effort in your studies, but there's a time I have too. I have a library uh, that's unbelievable. I also have Dr. Jensen's library. And I can tell you, you can read all the books, and I'll tell you, you'll never go anywhere. Uh, you're reading other people's opinions and ideas. You're not reading the facts. The facts are already in us and around us. And the facts is God. And look at this. The biggest laboratory we have is nature. And if we lose the intellectual mind, we really can gain a lot more. The mind can't see what you can see as soul. And it just puts things together better. So have fun with this. Start detoxifying people more. You're already a colon therapist. Really take that to a much deeper level. Get into the body and into the interstitial levels. Forget about chemistry. It'll find its own homeostasis if you're consuming homeostasis. All right. Thank you all. Bye-bye.